Are those aliens in a hot tub? It looks like it. We have contaminated the waters of this aqueduct, and the slaughter of the plants has started. I thought we were playing Detective Gallo, not Dark Side Detective. And very soon, all mankind will be on its last legs. Or Tex Murphy, because there was one game that had aliens in it. When humankind has been completely extinguished. So the culprit is the leader of an alien community. Nobody will ever suspect we're here. <laughs> Crazy to boot. Thorn, we have to stop this Yep, it's totally them. We need a volunteer to go into the dump. He will have to take the toxic substances in there and spread the contamination of the water. The plants will be the first to die. Better that you're not seen by these barbarians. Psst. What do you want? I need to speak with the Brotherhood leader. If you want to volunteer, you have to take off that ridiculous terrestrial mask you're wearing. Or the Brotherhood leader would pulverize you instantly. Is that so? Nobody speaks unless he decides. Nobody thinks unless he suggests. Nobody acts unless he agrees. Oh good, we found a cult. <laughs> and I'm already fed up. At Why least another cult to Lord Putty. Terrestrial mask. If you want to volunteer, you have to show your real face to the Brotherhood leader. It's an act of sincerity. But I can talk to you like this. If you like, but I don't understand why your mask has that chicken expression. It's a rooster. I meant dopey. They weren't selling anything better on the interplanetary secondhand market. But they closed that 3,000 eons ago. It's a long story. What does the real face of a brother look like? Large head and big eyes. And a retractable tongue. Sorry for the obvious question. Do you need anything else? Oh no. I'm going for a ride through the galaxy. No, oh, we got to go back to the Emporium, don't we? Yep. That's why I haven't seen any flies here. The aqueduct tower is just the start. We forgot a glow stick in the pipes upstairs. Shame. It was perfect for playing cards while doing overtime. Yep. Signed, the maintenance guys. Here it says that the I think we had another computer freeze. High, useful as a tick in my pants. Uh. And back we are. Here it says that the aqueduct tower useful as a tick in. I prefer to leave it. Did, did you actually look at that piece of paper? Paper covered with glue. And that was underneath the flypaper. Uh. Uh, maybe? I stuck the shards on the paper. So now we get... Now we get glued... Yeah, the note. We forgot a glow stick in the pipes upstairs. Side. We'll see, okay. Wait, what's inside here? And we have the glow stick. Yeah. Drink it in, folks. Drink it in. Rule number 122A of Gala. Never trust kids who look all right, even if they're wearing a smiling mask. Hello. Are you looking for a house? Because I happen to sell every kind of real estate. I happen to be here for another reason. I'm also interested in buying. I buy to sell to the highest bidder. Which is not me. I'm here for another reason. And what is that? I intend to talk with whoever's hiding under that ridiculous mask. You're already doing that. I only see a toddler who's trying to be an adult. Poor results. Am I not credible enough? You're not corrupted enough, mate. To stay here, you 
you need municipal permissions. To sell, you need political connections. And to buy, you need to find someone you can trust. I just thought about a legitimate job. Could erase all your previous crimes? Rule number 265 of Gallo. You can't clean up if you were born dirty. How did you find this job? I looked into the competitor, and I chose a product with which the others can compete with me. You can live any place. That's my motto. Look at me. Why? Do you live here? My house is my job. My job is my house. So I can better concentrate and be more productive. You really believe in what you do? Yes, after I recovered from the terrible depression I've fallen into. It's not easy to storm a bank with a plastic gun and a second-hand pirate patch. Listen, I need that retractable tongue. That's not for sale. I'll buy that together with the mansion on the hill. I can't sell them together. Then I'll rent it. I'll take that damn tongue to rent. Rent? You seem very interested in real estate deals. I need a retractable tongue, to be precise. This changes everything. What do you need a tongue for? I need to infiltrate an alien community to defeat them. Dude, I didn't think you were such a desperate case. So you'll give me the tongue? Try again, Gallo. Hmm. I'm interested in learning your advertising technique. Really, really? Yep. Really, really. Tell me about your advertising he, he has a technique. You want to learn the art of advertising? Only with a good commercial can you pass off a flop house for a 19th century mansion. Can I borrow the chubby head, tongue included? You're really stubborn and not interested in my explanation. All right. Okay. What do you do to convince the customers? I hypnotize my clients by looking them straight in the eye, as I'm doing with you right now. And why do you need the tongue for? It's the essential part. The tongue distracts the client. I convince the client. High psychology. Can I try to sell houses too? Are you experienced in the field? No, but everyone has the right to prove themselves. Great answer! You're hired! Now the second step consists of finding a motto. Only with finding a motto? What's a motto with you? Advertising campaign <laughs> become really effective. What slogan would you suggest? East or West. Home is best. Needs improvement, but to reflect. I need the right inspiration. Thorn, did you help this loony find an idea? Go to the disco club. My mother will give you a few tips about it. Your mother is the bartender of the disco club? Now, yes. She used to serve alcoholics door to door. Hello, Detective Gallo. You stormed away ranting and insulting everybody after drinking one of my best cocktails without paying. You got some nerve coming back here. If it were only for me and Thorn, he would have never set foot in this rat hole. But a matter higher than myself forced me to come back. Higher? He said higher. <laughs> a delicate matter forces me to ignore my pride and this crappy clientele. I can kick you out of here whenever I want. Let's be more friendly. I came for you. Stick to formalities. When will you balance your account? Can you still give me credit? Dear customer, welcome to the Knife and the Cleaver. The only disco club in the area where... The only disco club in the area. That's better now. Why is the outside of the club so different from the inside? Will you be satisfied with a diplomatic answer, or do you need a specific request to shut that fa Never mind. Do you know the real estate agent on Rhododendron Road? Yes, but I've been avoiding him. He's still your son. 
He ran away from home as soon as he could get down off his booster seat. And he joined the worst gangs in the neighborhood before realizing that life was harder than the next day's baby food. Lazy philosophy. No. Cheap baby food. First he wanted to be a pirate, and now he's got it into his head that he can monopolize the real estate deals in the city. So young and yet so... I suppose. I suppose. How can your son find the right inspiration? Sweets. In particular, your supply of sweets would inspire him. It already happened some time ago. Oh After no. He devoured my cake and pastry supply, he decided to become a bad guy. Brilliant idea. Sugar can have strange effects on people. I have to go, but the amount of alcohol in this disco club will kill me. Streets kill more than alcohol. Not the alcohol sold in this disco club. Not. You wouldn't believe it. Take you here. Of course. But that's that's cake and not cheese. It's cheesecake. I don't think that quite counts as cheese. Also, not her expression. The last thing I Look want is get to her mad. rude and impertinent people. I don't know who you mean. In front of you, there's only an irresistible detective. Save this so proper language for your cactus. Oh, yes. Thorn is here, too. You know where you can stick your stupid male friend? Actually, she's a female cactus. In your pocket! Are you upset by some of my little taunts? No. Not even that time when I compared you to a walking dump I saw in my worst nightmare? No. Not even when I convinced the road maintenance worker to pour wet cement on your candy counter? No. Not even on Valentine's Day when I gave you some... Was somebody nice to her? No. I wasn't offended that time either. So, what happened between us? I hate you like I've never hated anyone in my whole life. Do, do we have a reason? I mean, Come on. Gallo being Gallo is, is you know, enough of a reason, but That's right. specifically, do we have a specific <laughs> reason that this is going on? Yes. As good friends. Gallo, you're really I don't think that a reason ever given is just... You're only Bit more a dirty busy work. Abuser, so preoccupied with feeding your ego that you completely forget the world surrounding you. Are you saying that I'm an opportunist? You're a cynical opportunist. Yes, actually that's me. So, can we make up? Go away, or I can't account for my actions anymore. This kind of came out of absolute nowhere. It does. Oh, yeah. There's there's no reason for this dramatic personality shift. And um, we don't need to go talk to the cactus. Since we found ourselves in a prickly situation. I, eh. I can see that the passion for golf has spread a lot in my absence. <laughs> How can I reclaim the heart of a jealous woman? <laughs> you don't get something for nothing in this world. I already work with an informant. Now it's you too? I want the golf club. After your shot, I got excited. See? I already prepared all the holes. Can I convince you some other way? Yes. If only I could spend one romantic night with your sweet little cactus. I'll go get the golf club. Work beckons. Didn't you already grab the golf club? We need another one. Uh. Also, you might need to talk to the guy here. Nope. I have pretty much exhausted every topic. Goodbye. Huh. If anything, we think we need to get a pillow for him first. I locked it. I'm always a man of fortune. 
Uh, here's where the most treasured. Th I'll take only one. This case is seriously jeopardizing my collection. Oh god, he's punchable. He would be just my son. Mine too. Is that Nigel Thornberry? As a duck. You're interested in that baseball bat. You're very observant. I also see you're very rich. You have great intuition. Fine observation. But if you're looking for your wife, she already left. I don't need another parasite. I already have my lawyers. Okay. Give me an alien mask in exchange for a glass of Dango? Not a chance. But I don't drink spirits anymore. I just got sober. Uh, reasonable to get sober Dango after that drink. If it was non-alcoholic, yes. Non-alcoholic Dango. Go to the knife and the cleaver. How will I recognize the dealcoholizer? If it's really pure, it's blue. And the quantity must be enough to fill a pitcher. Goodbye. Say hello to your cactus. If we need to make more deer a dango, I think we're going to need another vehicle. Nah, we still got some. Okay. But it's got to be able to fill a pitcher. Yep. Delete this, but I could see the end working. coming from the beginning. Sorry. What do you want, Shorty? Can you fix the TV? Why are you asking me? Because I want to see a TV program. Go fix it yourself, then. If you can reach it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? None of your business. Nothing you could understand. Soap operas, right? No, I can't understand. Listen, I have more intelligence in my pinky than... Hey, see this? My pinky is bigger than him. It's true. <laughs> Are you really as strong as you... Do we have a glass we can turn upside down on their bar, this on their table? Twice or so. Alas, no. I see. Damn. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. Not for you! <laughs> Give me a demonstration of your strength, then. I could throw you against the wall, but since you'd be squashed, you'd never know. Okay. Could you hit that chandelier over there? Of course. I've been national champion of cleaver throwing. Good. Impress me. I need something heavy and appropriately balanced. I've had enough of you making fun of me. Yes, go hide in the rat hole. It's exactly your size! <laughs> when I have a reason to hit something in this disco club, then I'll ask him. Can I give you a reason? <laughs> Why is the TV not working? It's been a while since it's picked up any signal. It could be a problem with the TV, but... Maybe the fault is with the transmitter. Where's the transmitter? On the highest point in the city. If my TV started working again, I wouldn't do anything besides watch it all the time. There's a specific program then. All the soap operas. From the ducks also cry to the beaks of happiness. But I like watching a web tart too. Although I think it's inferior to love feathers. But nothing can make my heart beat like heartbreaking rooster tails. I remember our sleepless nights. 
clutching thorns in the heart. I have to go. Not the other.